first learned my Catholic faith from my parents who brought me to church, but the same thing like every seven year old or six year old. We barely wanted to go to church unless our parents like bribed us with something. And over time, when I joined a Catholic school, that's where my faith grew. And because of my friends, I soon joined auto servers and my faith grew even more from there. It all started when the priest church uh, came to my house to bless my house. Before leaving the house, he actually asked me and my brother whether if he would like to serve at my church. But I rejected the offer because I was still a bit scared to not go yet. In primary one, I had a very hard time. I would start to cry and say, I want to go home. I don't want to stay here. But all my primary one teachers and my classmates would always tell me it's okay. We will eventually go home. That's how they every time make me feel better. When I was nine years old, I decided that maybe I should try serving as an altar boy. I see God's presence in my family and my friends. They give me advice and they're just listening to me when I'm down. The willingness of the teachers, like whenever you have a question, they'll just be very patient. The most recent one, I sent an email to Dr. Lee, like my principal, like informing her about my school preference. And then I got an email back from her. She told me to be the light of Christ to others. And that was like really inspiring because that's one thing you take away from the school. And my principal was reinforcing that in me as I left. There are just many sisters around the school. You can talk to them whenever you want to and it feels relieving that they're always there to help you and pray with you. I think somewhere in primary 4, I asked the teacher if I could lead the prayer and tell others about God. I think I stitched for a little and I was scared that I would mess up. So instead of just holding the piece of paper, I tried memorizing it to not make a fool myself, which ended up it did. So around this year, I started to learn that it was I was doing it for God and not for myself. One of the friends I brought here to this prayer room was a non-Catholic. He usually asked a lot of questions about our faith and one of the questions he asked, which was quite hard to answer, was, was there anything before God? So we just said, the Bible just says, God created everything that we know, see, feel. When I was very young, I had to go to the hospital many times. I also remember that I was crying very hard to try to breathe properly. I know that Jesus was there when the machines was ready to make me feel better. Jesus was there to always heal my pain after that. I think being a Catholic is to spread many of God's words and many stories of different saints who have risked their lives spreading God's words. Every now and then there are sometimes when I start to doubt, there are sometimes when like there are ups and downs also in the faith. But what really brings me back, it's either like words that come from my family and like my parents' mouths, or it's literally the Bible. Like on one of the days like during PSLE preparation, there was a verse that said, do not be afraid I am with you. So it wasn't any mere coincidence. It was like God was trying to bring me back. Like God was trying to make me like, surrender everything to Him. Like I stopped worrying, stopped getting stressed. Because no matter what age you are, God always makes sure He'll keep an eye on all of us, just like the Good Shepherd. If He lose one sheep, He'll search non-stop, day and night, all the way till He finds the lost sheep. When I used to be young, I'll always be like, why does He not answer my prayers yet? But my parents will sometimes tell me, or my catechism teachers will tell me, it's okay, God sometimes has other plans for you. And God will say, okay, I know you are my son. I will always take care of you no matter where you are. Let us participate in this historic celebration to ignite and shine with faith in all that we do. For more information, scan the QR code or visit catholic200.sg.